There are a lot of bad movies out there, especially on Netflix, but I don't know if they can compare to this dumpster fire. Anon is a cyberpunk film, but unlike Blade Runner or Mute or other cyberpunk films, we're in a much more neutral tone world, more like our own. The police and citizens have access to a computer program system that they can operate with their eye. It allows them to see facts and figures about different people that are walking by. It gives them health warnings for different food items they're looking at. And in this story of this world, you have Clive Owen's character who's a detective on the hunt for somebody killing people who have recently had moments of their lives erased to make themselves look better or to at least hide the bad parts of their life. Prime suspect is a woman who is cleared from the system. There's no facts or anything they can find on her. And anytime they do see her, somehow the record that should be in their memory system or in their eyes memory system disappears. Anon is a film that knows it's not interesting. You have some moments of truly terrible acting. Not usual Netflix movie lackluster acting. I mean, this is, this is Razzie award winning acting. John Cusack would be proud. The reason I can say that I think Anon knows it's not interesting is because every 10 minutes or so they have to fill in two or three minutes with nudity or sex scenes, sometimes repeating the same sex scenes. I'm not saying that to sound like a prude because I watch Game of Thrones and that's typically two or three times an episode in Game of Thrones, but at least stories being told when it's happening. This is just a pause in the story to show boobs. That's all it is. This film relies so heavily on the graphics and whatnot from the eye recordings or the eye computer that it gets old really quickly. And they use three, not long, but somewhat long back and forth sequences between the detective and different people who are worried about how someone killed themselves or, you know, they want to know how they died or if a maid stole something of theirs or yada, yada, yada. An hour and a half to two hours of that is not worth your time. Not that Clive Owen and Amanda Seyfried or Seyfried, however you say her last name, are big pulls for people watching a film. But I can't help feeling that even they are way above this film. This had to be part of some sort of multi-film deal because I have no clue why else they would do it. Why? Why do this? Why would you want to be a part of this project? Or did you think it was going to be good? And then when you got there, you realized it was going to be awful. Because it's awful. This cyberpunk noir focuses more on TNA than it does the case. As indicated by the thumbnail, this is a dumpster fire of a film. Sheesh. Just avoid it. Avoid it completely. Can't think of a single positive thing to really say about it. I really want to quit crapping on these Netflix original films, but I can't help it at this point when most of what I check into is garbage. How about you? Have you seen Anon? What was your least favorite part about it? Mine was all of it. The best part was the credits. Yeah. Either way, thank you so much for watching another video, and I hope you have a phenomenal day, and we'll see you next time.